Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this cute minion card. It's from a template that I drew myself. I sketched a minion and then I cut up the pieces so that I could make it into a template. So it is a hand-drawn template but I'm more than happy to share that with you so that you could have a go at making this yourself. It's quite easy to do, it's good fun and it's great for a girl or a boy. So as I said, I've made this little template myself, so it's hand-drawn, so it doesn't look as perfect as uh, something you would buy, but it does the trick and um, I'm sure it will get you to be able to make the same uh, card as I have done here. It's also very easy to turn this boy card into a girl card and I'll show you how I did that at the end of the video. So I'm going to include a PDF file with this instruction, so what you'll need to do is email me and I'll put the link at the end of this um, tutorial so that you can do that and I'll put all the pieces together on one printout which you'll need to print out on a piece of light cardstock so I my printer takes about a 200 to a 250 gram uh, card weight and uh, will handle that quite easily so you just add a piece of that to your, to your printer and print out the PDF file so I'll put the links to that at the end of this video and the first thing that you're going to need to do is cut out all the pieces and uh, you're going to cut out on that black line so that the black line remains both on the uh, speech bubble all the pattern pieces and the insert remember to cut out your template as neatly as possible because you can keep this and you can use this time and time again just pop it into an envelope and store it somewhere safe for the next person that you want to make a birthday card for that loves minions so we're starting with our card base that measures 8 inches by 8 inches and then I've scored it at 4 inches and then if you fold that in half that makes your card base which is the standard size DL. Next we're attaching a piece of blue cardstock centrally to the front of the card and I'm going to be using double sided tape to do this but you could use foam pads if you wanted to. It measures 3 and a quarter inches by 7 and a quarter inches and you're going to put that centrally on the front of the card and then you're going to repeat that again with another piece of cardstock that measures three and a quarter by seven and a quarter and you're going to attach that definitely this time with uh, double-sided tape to the inside of the card next for the front of the card is a piece of white cardstock again you could use foam pads if you wanted to I'm using double sided tape, it measures 3 inches by 7 inches and you're going to attach that centrally on the front of the card. This really is quite quick to put together in uh, the first stages and then you can spend time uh, with your little minion. Next you've got your little uh, insert already cut out, again this time with double sided tape and you're going to attach that centrally to the inside of the card. And the insert says, you are one in a minion, have fun on your special day, tu la lilu ti amo, which I believe says, I love you in minion. And uh, to all minions out there, if I've got my pronunciation wrong, I do apologise. So that's the bare bones of the card uh, all put together. Now we're going to uh, create some of the details. And I'm going to cut out the body of the minion in the yellow card stock. So I'm tracing around that with a pencil. And I'm also going to mount the speech bubble onto the yellow card stock and I'm going to cut that out with a uh, small yellow border all the way round. So I start by cutting the straight edges and then I round off those corners. You could do that with a corner rounder if you wanted to. And then I'm also going to stick that on a piece of blue card stock and again I'm going to cut out with a small blue border all the way round and this just helps emphasize that little speech bubble which says you are one in a minion have a wonderful day so back to my little minion so I'm tracing around all my pattern pieces first with a pencil then removing the template and then tracing around that with a black outline Now I found it was easier to do it this way than to cut the minion out and then try to add a black border or you know even if you stuck it on your card and then traced around it it's a little bit easier to do it this way round so I'm going to do that for all my pattern pieces so the little trousers uh, with the pockets and the straps 
all uh, are cut out of the blue cardstock. So again, I'm tracing around every piece with a pencil first, and then I'm going to go around all those pieces with a black pen. Now, as I'm doing the little uh, trouser pieces, I'm adding a small stitch detail just right around the edges as if these were a pair of denim dungarees. So a little small running stitch and it just adds to that effect. So on the bib section you only need to go around the top portion because that's going to form the pockets and you don't really need to do any stitching around this bottom section. So the piece that's got the little legs you only need to do round the pockets and across the top of the little legs and then the second piece you're going to go right round the bib and the edge of the pocket. And then you want to cut these pieces out leaving your black line intact. And then if you take a craft knife you can just remove that small section out of the inside of the arm and then I'm adding the little black line and then it's just a case of carefully cutting around all the other little pieces this really is quite easy to do and uh, all the shapes are fairly simple nothing too fiddly to cut out at this stage If you do manage to cut off some of your black lines by mistake, you can easily add them back on. So I'm going to start by attaching the first part of his little dungarees, and that's the little port part with the tiny uh, trouser legs. And you're going to match that to the bottom of the minion's body. And I'm using glue to do this, I just thought it was the easier than little pieces of sticky tape. Then the next piece adds the detail of the bib and the pocket and uh, shows a little bit of a dimension to his tummy and you're going to line that up with the bib. This is quite fun to do, it's a bit like uh, playing with paper dolls when you were a little girl so I'm cutting out his little clothes and I'm dressing him. So it's pocket and straps for his little trousers next. And then again I'm going to be attaching all of those to him with glue. So starting with the little straps, just make sure they sit just above his minion shoulders. And then his tiny little pocket. At this point it's wise to stick him to your card. Remember that he's going to have little feet and that you're going to have to leave room for the speech bubble. So I'm attaching those main details to the front of the card and then we're ready to add all the finer details. Now I did a lot of faux stitching with my pen on this card. That is entirely up to you. So I used a combination of a little running stitch and a little uh, stitch with a dot just using a fine black pen. Now I went round the white card, I went round the uh, yellow card twice and I went round the speech bubble. And I also added um, some stitching to the inside of the card. This time just a running stitch around the white card and twice around the yellow border. Because of the cartoon nature of this card I just felt that this uh, little finishing touch was quite appropriate but it is entirely up to you if you don't like it you don't have to do it. And I'm just adding a little uh, dash and a dot to the front of the card. Now let's get back to the details and to finish off the little minion. So we're in the black card stock and you're not going to be able to see this very well but uh, I've got two little feet and various little sections that make up his hands. 
so these are a little bit more tricky to hold on to and to cut out but uh, it's worth the effort and it just finishes him off so of all your template pieces now you should only have a circle left and uh, you're going to cut out all the other little pieces so it's worth uh, keeping an eye on and being tidy about this um, because they do look very similar to the little bits you're going to be cutting off so uh, keep your little cutoffs and uh, put them straight in the bin and uh, keep your pattern pieces on your desk so voice of experience I've thrown a few little pieces away that I wanted and I had to trace around them again so now you're going to use an eraser to take uh, all the pencil marks off those pieces because these are going to show on your card and once we've got them in position on the card we're going to use a white pen to add the details so pop his little feet on the end of his trousers and he's got one hand pointing upwards and one hand resting on his tummy we've got a couple of little cuffs to add and two little fingers on the hand that points if you've done the uh, faux stitching detail then you can use a white pen to colour in all those little uh, circles that you did on the front of the card and then you're going to use your white pen to add the details to all the black pieces on the card so we're going to add the detail to his shoes so just tracing around them adding a few little shoelaces and soles to his shoes and then just adding in the detail of his fingers and his cuffs on his two hands. Now you can either use a small foam pad or some silicone glue to add a small card candy in black to his pocket of his dungarees and that has a um, sort of square shaped G. Again look on the internet for the detail on this. Um, I'm not even sure what it stands for I have to confess and then it's time to make his glasses so I cut out or punched two half inch circles from some silver cardstock and then I'm using my pattern piece to create little rims of glasses so draw around the little circle that's on your template I'm sorry I didn't realize I was jogging the tripod by moving my craft mat uh, it's a little bit tricky to cut the centers out you may have two punches that you can do this with or you may have something suitable in your crafting supplies little hoops that you could use uh, to make glasses and then once uh, you've cut them out you're going to trace around them to add the detail uh, of the rims of the glasses so they were half inch circles punched from some silver card and then you remove the centers by tracing around the little template piece so I used glossy accents to attach these small uh, glasses to a piece of acetate and that is going to make his little glasses so just allow that to dry before you try to cut it out and while you're waiting for it to dry you're going to take two teeny tiny dots of brown cardstock could be another color if you want it uh, to be if you wanted a blue-eyed minion or a green-eyed minion you could do that and they literally just um, I've used my hole punch to punch two little pieces of brown cardstock and I'm just using my pen to add the details to make them look like little uh, eyes with the pupil and I'm adding a small white highlight with my white pen and then I've got two pieces of white card candy to make his main eyeball ready to put my little brown irises on so that's the middle part of his eye and now that my glossy accents is dry I'm just trimming right around the outside of the little glasses
and now we're ready to attach them to the card. So just have a little dry run to start with so you can see where you're going with his eyes and you're going to draw in the, the arms and the bridge of his glasses. So remove the glasses and just add that detail in with a black pen and if you just go a little bit beyond where you marked it means they'll just sit underneath the rims of the glasses once you have them in position. like so. They look a little bit more like goggles than glasses and then I'm using again you could use small foam pads if you wanted to but two little dots of uh, glue or silicone glue and then I'm adding two pieces of white candy as the eyeballs for my minion, two dots of glossy accents to add the iris of his eye and I'm just positioning them so that the um, little highlights are opposite one another. And the easiest way to attach his little goggle glasses is to add a little piece or dot of glossy accents to his uh, iris and to perch his glasses uh, on top of his eyeball so to speak. And it might sound a little bit painful but it works and uh, it looks uh, very 3D and it looks great fun on the front of the card. So now we just need to add a little bit of detail to finish off our minion and I'm just going to give him somewhere to stand. So I'm just going to mark where the floor is behind him on the card. Just a couple of lines to indicate that he's actually standing on something and a little bit of shadow underneath his feet. And then his expression and his hairstyle is entirely up to you. I suggest that you uh, have a look on the internet and see uh, what, which minion takes your fancy and uh, do the hairstyle and the expression that you like or you think your recipient might like. And I'm going for this um, very wide parting and a cheeky smile for my minion. So as I finish off this card, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this tutorial and that you want to give it a go yourself. I'll put the link at the end of this uh, video so that you can visit my blog. And if you scroll down my right hand sidebar, you'll see my email address. Click on that and send me an email, ask for the Minion PDF and I will send it back to you so that you can make a little Minion card of your very own. So it's great fun to do and uh, I really enjoyed making it and I hope that you want to make it too. Don't forget to press like if you like my video and subscribe if you don't already and uh, that way we can uh, share some crafting together. This is the inside of the girl version that I made of this card. Again I'll give you all the dimensions on the blog post uh, when you visit it so you'll get the dimensions for this uh, girl version and the boy version. So you can see I've added some flowery paper into the mix, changed her hairstyle a little bit, she's got blue eyes, she's got a much more feminine mouth and uh, it was all created exactly the same way, just changing up the papers and the colours and I really hope you like it. I hope to see you again soon with some more crafting tutorials. Thank you for watching.